There is a Chinese saying that in crisis is opportunity. And so that's really what birthing crisis is. Uh, crisis portends danger, it portends distress, it portends uh, stress. And especially when you're a leader, you're even supposed to see the opportunities more than others. You're supposed to see the silver lining in the gray cloud as it were. Hi, this is Jackie Asiwe and I work with ZipSource Africa. ZipSource Africa is passionate about conversations. As ZipSource, we have birthed a podcast during crisis. Because ZipSource is passionate about philanthropy, we wanted to focus the podcast on philanthropy. But I also noticed during COVID that because of social distancing and lockdowns, we were having to re- think and redo the way we're doing community. And so we thought, let's call the podcast Community. And those are food for, for, for whoever walked in. The other thing that we birthed, we had a grant from the Global Fund for Community Foundations. And that part of that grant was to help us collect stories of community philanthropy. We wanted to go, you know, into slum communities, into fishing communities, all kinds of communities to surface the stories of how those communities help each other. But because of lockdowns, um, social distancing, we just couldn't. Um, and we had literally put it off. But then, as the lockdown extended, uh, we started hearing stories of giving. Every time the president addressed us, at the end he would read a long list of givers. Uh, you know, we know people in our circles who are giving and we thought, we don't have to go into communities. The stories are right here in front of us. And so we produced our first ever giving in COVID report. We called it generosity in the time of COVID. So that was another thing that was birthed. Last year, the Chakra Village Mates came together, I, think, I believe about seven times. And these comings together were really to have fellowship with each other, to check in on how we were doing, to learn together, to cry together, to celebrate together. And we did that, of course, in person. Fast forward to March 2020, and we couldn't meet anymore. So we started having Zoom calls to continue that fellowship. I realized that almost everybody who shared, shared a thing they had started during COVID. Just hearing the stories of the village mates and what they've done, but also knowing that, you know, CIVSO supports a range of leaders and leaders have been struggling, but have also been birthing beautiful things. And so it's both and noticing that yes, good things have arisen out of this crisis, but also hoping that these series can also encourage other leaders who are struggling, who are still caught in, in that space where they think they can't create because of the crisis. I think the fear is like any new product, you're wondering, is this the right product at the right time for a market like ours? Because a lot of birthing happens in, in, in darkness, in quiet. It's hidden, right, by the maternity dress and everything. And so when you produce this baby, you hope it will be received by the world. And so you do have that anxiety. Gathering these stories of generosity, I think for me, re-energized me and helped me Believe again in our goodness, in our Ubuntu, and also never to waste a crisis.